Welcome to day two of the road to Christmas. We saw yesterday how Zechariah was waiting. He had been waiting to serve in the temple on his kind of duty as priest all his life. It was very rare that somebody could actually, uh, a priest could actually be in the very centre of the temple, uh, the place where the incense was burnt. And we saw too that the people of Israel praying outside as he burnt incense were waiting for God to fulfil his promise and for the voice of the prophets to be heard again. 400 years it had been since God promised through Malachi that he would come and, and be with his people again. And now as Zechariah is in the temple, we read that the next thing that happens is that an angel of the Lord appeared to him standing on the right side of the altar and, and Zechariah is gripped with fear he's startled he's terrified it says and the angel says don't be afraid Zechariah your prayer has been heard your wife Elizabeth will bear a son and you will call him John well Zechariah must have been completely amazed for to start with angels weren't things that you came across very often he would have read about them or heard about them in the Old Testament scriptures but here was one right in front of him not only that this angel is saying your prayer has been answered but the prayer that's been answered is the one that he'd almost probably stopped praying because he was past the age of having children or rather his wife was it was impossible and then the angel goes on to say this boy John being born to you is one that is uh, from God he's great and he is to go before the Lord to go ahead of the Lord and he quotes the angel quotes from Malachi and says God is about to do what he promised 400 years ago and your son is going to be part of it he's going to be the one that prepares the way for the coming king well what do you think Zechariah's response is when he goes on to say he can't believe it he says how can this be and Zechariah, and the angel rather, is almost flummoxed. He, he says, look, I'm Gabriel. I've just come from the presence of God to give you this good news and you don't believe it. And uh, the angel pronounces a kind of um, restriction upon Zechariah. He puts him into a kind of uh, verbal lockdown. He says, Zechariah, I think you'd better not be sharing your unbelief with other people. You need to think this out. Uh, Tony Horsfall writes that Zechariah needs to retune his heart to heaven. And so Zechariah enters another period of waiting. And uh, he has to go out of the temple, try and explain what's happened with sign language. And then he goes on home. Interesting, isn't it? Sometimes as we wait for things, waiting can sometimes be more comfortable than actually what might happen when the thing that we're waiting for comes. We need to be careful that we're not like Zechariah, who gets so used to our own kind of expectations being unfulfilled, rather, uh, that we, we kind of lose that possibility that God might be doing something new for us. So let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you that nothing stopped your purposes and that you were able to take Zechariah where he was and give him that opportunity to retune his heart to heaven. Where our unbelief leads to limitations, we want to give those limitations to you and pray that we may find our hearts tuned to your purposes for us and that you will live in our lives to your praise and glory. In Jesus' name. Amen.